Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Today we're going to have a little chat here about the Fortune 500. And everybody knows what these people are, who they are, what they're doing. They are the top 500 earners in the world. So I know you've heard of it and I know you're wondering how do they get this? How do they do that? How do they keep making this wealth? Keep residually coming in, coming in, coming in. So what I'm going to share with you here today is the top Fortune 500 people in the world do these six steps daily. I mean, and I'm saying you have to do it every day. So you can research and you can check out, you know, it takes time to research all of this to see what every single person out there is doing. It takes a lot of time. So what we've done is put this together and I have found that these six steps that the top earners are using and have been using since the dawn of time, since business came into effect, these people implement, implemented these steps way back in the day, way back. And this goes way back in history. And once you discover that these are simple, easy steps that just take dedication, they take you doing it every single day and not feeling that it's chore. If you're doing something and you feel that it's a chore, then it's not going to get the effect that you want it to have. But when you're doing something, you're doing the steps, you're doing the systems, and it's not a chore, it is a building block, it is stepping stones to help you grow. Well, an associate, Hal Elrod, has put together this book, and it goes through the six steps that these people have been doing forever. And he has done also a lot of research and he was smart enough to put it into a book. Smart because now he gets the residual income from this. But Hal, Hal is also one who is very dedicated to his business, his, his livelihood, his family. And by putting these simple steps in place for you, you can learn what the Fortune 500 people, the top 500 people in the world are doing. And it isn't hard to do. It is something that we can all do simply and easily. It's just like the metaphor, um, dress for success. Um, if you want to be successful, if you want to be perceived as being someone who is successful, what does everyone say? Dress for success, right? Wear the best you have. You know, present yourself in the best light that you can, you know, speak to the best people you can, you know, all of this is dress for success. So what this is, is this is six simple, easy, easy peasy steps for each and every person out there. Now, the sad part is, and let me put this disclaimer in here, is just because these steps work for me and they work for hundreds of thousands of other people doesn't mean they're going to work for every single person. And why is that? And again, this is a disclaimer. I'm not saying because it works for me, it's going to work for everybody. The disclaimer is not everyone believes in themselves enough. And this is sad. It really is sad. It breaks my heart that they can achieve what these Fortune 500 people have, that they can have what they have. And if you don't believe you can have this, if you don't see yourself having what you want, you don't have to be like somebody else. You need to be who you are. And if your persona is, if your wealthy spot for you is, Wearing jeans and a t-shirt and Nikes, so be it. That is going to project wealth to anyone who sees you because you're going to have that mentality, that mindset. And the mindset is the energy field around you that is going to project that. So why not be who you are? But the dress for success is also 
to get your mindset to feeling comfortable being, you know, in that persona, to being comfortable being around these people, you know, for to be comfortable speaking, you know, to other people that that have what you want to get and that that are out there. So definitely take this to heart. Okay, now these six steps, and you have to do them every single day. You can't take a day off because you don't feel good or because you got too much on your plate and it doesn't take very long at all. Now, everyone who knows me out here in cyber world or even in personal world knows that I meditate every single day. It's a given. I've done it forever. So what I'm going to do is go through these six steps and I'm going to just give a little explanation on what they are and what you need to do to make them happen. So if you have a pen and paper, you might want to take notes because this is critical for if you want to grow. Okay, so number one is meditation. And the principle behind the meditation, either meditation or prayer or, you know, whatever it is you want to do, um, is to clear your mind. To clear your mind of all the fuzzy thoughts, the this and that. When you clear your mind, then you open your mind up to receive and to be in more of a frame of mind for what you want to create that day, for what you want to do that day. So that's why meditation, first thing, is the critical, is most important. And like I said, these are the six steps that the, the top earners in the world do every single day. And you can research this in history, it, and it's there. You have to look for it, but it's there. Okay, and number two is affirmations. And not just blind affirmations, not just affirmations that you see in a book or that you see somebody posting online. Those are great too, granted. But the ones I'm talking about are the affirmations that speak of what you're trying to accomplish. Affirmations that say what it is you want to do. Affirmations that say the steps you're taking and your goals. And when you affirm, and what you're doing is an affirmation and what I would like you to create, and what I do myself, I create an affirmation for what my goal is and what the outcome is, what the end result is and how it looks and how it feels. And when I do this, I'm just reinstating more to my subconscious what I really want. And number three, you have to visualize, and I mean really visualize. Don't pretend to visualize. You have to really visualize of what you see yourself doing. What do you see your life being like? What do you see in your life that will change for the better and that is changing, has changed? Take it in steps that you want to that makes it comfortable for you. But again, this is very critical. Each one of these steps are so important. And you can't leave them out. If you do, you're going to miss the ballpark. You're going to miss what you needed to do. But these are critical six steps. They're so simple. And you can do these six steps in an hour or less, depending on what your focus is. Sometimes there's been times when I, I know I'm kind of crunched for time because of whatever reason, and maybe I can only do 45 minutes, you know, but I do each step regardless of what I have to do in the day or what I'm doing. And I just get up a little earlier. And that's the key there. Just get up a little earlier than you normally would. So if you normally get up at five o'clock, get up at four. Or if you get up at six, get up at five. And that's that hour to you, for you. You can get yourself acclimated to the day. And usually the house is quiet in the morning. If you get up earlier, you're the only one up. And there's nobody else moving around. And it's quiet. Why not? Why not do this for you? Because you're going to build you, your business, your lifestyle, your family life. Do this for you. So visualize the life that you see yourself having, the life you see yourself living, the life you want. Visualize it, see it, and most of all, this is really important, guys and gals, feel it. As you're visualizing, 
feel how great this feels. Feel how wonderful it feels to walk down the street and know you don't have to worry about you're paying your mortgage or you don't have to worry about a car payment. You don't have to worry about anything. You're just happy. What's wrong with that? Not a thing. Not one thing is wrong with that. So number four, exercise. I know what you're going to think. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go to the gym. Oh my gosh, I don't have time to go to the gym. I can't afford a gym membership. I don't have time to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't like exercising. Right? Sound familiar? Yeah, got it. I'm not telling you to go jump on the Nautilus or I'm not telling you to go get on the Peloton or whatever you have that you want to or don't want to do. What I'm saying is you have to get your cardio going if you want to be in a vibration. And it's vibration, okay? You have to be able to put yourself out there and you have to get your heart pumping. So do some stretches, stretch, you know, do a little yoga or whatever. Do some jumping jacks, you know, jump around, get your cardio going. And you'll be surprised when you do this. It's like, wow, okay, I'm awake. Yeah, now what? Okay, now I'm set to go. I am motivated. And also during the day, if you spend a lot of time sitting at your desk and working or whatever, even if you have a stand-up desk where you stand a lot, Walk around, jump up and down, do some stretches, do some deep, deep knee bands, you know, do something to keep your cardio going. Not only is it healthy, but it keeps your momentum going. And again, if these 500 people could do this and make billions of dollars, why can't we do it and make millions, right? It's my thought. I may be right or wrong, but that's my thought. Okay, number five. Here we go. Reading. Yeah, and I don't mean reading Dr. Seuss or, you know, whatever other book, you know, the, the Red Little Red Hen or whatever little book your kids are reading. Read something. You don't have to read the whole book. What I do is I read, depending on the size of the chapters, and if it's a huge, a huge chapter book, then I'll read, you know, half a chapter or whatever during, during my, my reading time in the morning. And I won't read the whole book, but over the course of time, the whole book gets read. And if it's a short, a short chapter book, then I will read a chapter in the morning. It just depends on how big the chapter is. And of course, you know, I have so much on my plate like you do that I have so much time allotted for each thing because I, I monitor my time very closely. But also read inspiration. Read something that's going to inspire you to do more, inspire you to learn more. That's always a huge plus that you can do. Also, read on something that you are learning that you want to learn more about. And when you are reading, when you're in this frame of mind of receiving and of doing these six steps, reading is critical because you are going to open your thoughts, your mind to all of these things. It's very important because, like I said, if these big billionaires could do this every morning, why can't we? And by doing these six simple steps, simple, simple, we, are, we can all create the lives that we want, the lifestyle we want, the family life we want. It just depends on what you want. Okay, but number five is reading. And you do not have to do these all in this order. Um, I would put these down in this order because that's the order I wrote them down with a long time ago when I first read um, Hal's book. And I wrote, I wrote them down at that time. That was, that's been a while back now. But back when I was doing this stuff myself without, with just researching and seeing, well, these guys, these 500, Fortune 500 people, they make billions of dollars. What are they doing besides investing or, you know, doing real estate or, you know, properties and stuff like that, which is real estate. But I wanted to get deeper and see what the secret was, what they were doing. 
and what can I do to make it work for me? Because I figured, you know, if they're making this much money and they're doing this, it's got to be out there somewhere of what they're doing and how they're doing it, right? So lots of research, lots of time, lots of hours to do this things that I was looking for. And when I started doing these six steps, when I put them into play all together, first it was just I found one, whereas meditation they were doing. I was like, well, I'm already doing that. I'll just, I'll just step that one up a little bit. And then, of course, affirmations. I've always done affirmations, so I just stepped it up and made them more precise do the affirmations the way they would benefit me personally. And then when it got to the visualization of visualizing my life and myself, and I've always done that also, but I wasn't doing it right because I wasn't visualizing exactly in detail. I didn't put the details and the feeling into it. And once I did, boom, everything just started falling into place. So then I realized that I... I like to exercise. I like to exercise a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm not like a dedicated, you know, on the Nautilus every single minute type person. But I do like to exercise. I like to stretch. I like yoga. So when I started implementing all these things together in a system, in a cycle, in a period of time, and I in the morning was seems the best time, right? Because I did it before I went to work. You can't go wrong, right? So... And then reading, I've always loved to read. I've always been a reader. I've always read a lot of books, a lot of inspirationals, a lot of um, romance mysteries and, you know, different things like that. And a lot of know-how-to books and, you know, learn how to do this, how to do that. And I've always read a lot of that. So when I started putting these steps together, I was seeing a pattern evolve, a pattern that was benefiting me. A pattern that when I used my energy and my focus, it was actually connecting. It was actually connecting and it was actually being awesome. So the last thing is writing. Yeah, writing in your journal. Write down your thoughts, your inspiration, you know, write down, you know, things that, you know, happened to you maybe the day before you know, things that you want to create that day, you know, just write in your journal, whatever it is you are wanting to write. And then most of the time in my journal, I'll only write a small little paragraph, maybe just a few, a few lines. And you know what, when I go back and I read my journals from way back in the day, when I used to write a whole paragraph or more, and I found that as I was progressing more and more, as I was doing these six steps that I was doing, that I was putting what I needed to say in fewer words. And it was more to the point. It wasn't drawn out. It was precise. And it was actual thought and feeling put into words. It works. But whatever you choose to do is up to you on how you do it, what you want to do. But again, these six steps are critical. I'm going to say critical if you want to create the carefree lifestyle that you are looking to get. And again, the six steps are, and I always have, I always have notes and I always write things down because that's who I am. I like to write things down and I like to have pen and paper because I like to see them in my own handwriting. When I put it in my own handwriting, you know how much energy that gives it? A lot. Positive energy is in your vibration, it's in your hands, and so is negative energy. So write down positive stuff, guys. But again, those six steps, and these are six steps that have come through the dawns of time. And these top earners, these Fortune 500 people, they have used these secrets and these systems forever. Forever. Like I said, research it yourself if you want to, whatever, because... It took me a long time, and then how Elrod put it all in a book, which made it easier, and I've been, you know, telling a lot of people about that because it's simpler than going to spending days and hours and hours and months researching everything. But the six steps are meditation, critical, 
Everything I'm going to tell you is critical, and you can do them in any order you choose. I have not found that any certain order works better, and I've moved them all around. Um, doesn't work better or less for me. Okay, affirmations, targeted affirmations to what you want to create and what you want to have success at. Visualize, see your life the way you want it, see the end result, see where you're at, see where you want to go, and see and feel, you have to feel how great it feels that you're there. Okay, exercise, keep your cardio pumping. You don't have to go to the gym. You could just ride there at home, do a little yoga, do some stretching, do some jumping jacks, you know, do something to, to get your cardio going. Reading, read something inspirational, read something that's teaching you something, read something that's going to motivate you, okay? And writing, write in your journal. Very, very, very successful people always have a journal. Yep, if you don't have one, you might want to think about getting one and starting it. You can go to the Staples or someplace like that and pick a notebook up for a couple bucks. Yep, easy breezy. Okay, guys, and dress for success. Always be your best. Always put your best foot forward. Maybe you can't afford to wear all funny or, you know, Calvin Klein or whatever. Always, whatever you have, dress for success. Dress your best. Always, you know, do something good for yourself. The more you do good for yourself, the more that will present and evolve into what you are attracting to you. Okay, guys? Take these six steps that are being used right now, today, every single day, 365 days a year, and use these to your benefit. Why not? You deserve to have the best there is. Okay, guys. Again, take these six steps and get going. Okay, I will chat with y'all later. Bye-bye.